JD here with the Hot Department of Transportation in the Office of CAD Mapping Services. And in this video, I'm going to go over the change from tag sets to item types. Um, so in the beta release of our standards and in our ODOT CAD, the V8I version of our standards, um, we used tagged data um, to manage the, sh the sheet properties along the border of our sheets. Um, with our connect standards, we have switched those to item types um, because tag sets have been depreciated and uh, item types are, are the way to go. Um, they give us a little more added functionality. But things are a little differently, so I wanted to explain some of the differences. So on the left here, I have our old cell that um, play, used tags. So if I hover over it, you'll see it says it's tag item. And then our new cell, um, that uses item types. So it tags to edit a tag, you simply double clicked on it. Oh, let me actually double click on it. And you got the tag editor and you could see your tags, tag values, and you could edit it right there. Um, but with item types, it's a little bit different. So with item types, if I double click on an element, that's linked to an item type, I'm going to get the text editor. And if I look, it's just a data entry region. So I do not want to start typing or delete that data entry region because that would delete the link to the tag uh, item type property. Right? So if I double click on this, it doesn't give me an editor. It tells me what field I'm linked to. And I could potentially change the field that I actually am linked to. Um, so here's my item type right here. It says ODAT sheets under bar two. And here's all the different properties within this item type. And I could select one and that would then change my data entry region to be linked to that property. Okay. Um, but you notice you still can't really change the value. And, and so that's because the item type is attached to an element and it's part of the element properties. Um, this is just a text element that is linked to the item type. So a little bit different. Um, so you're gonna, I'm gonna cancel here because I don't wanna change that. Um, so you're no longer gonna be double clicking on that text element to update that item type. Um, what you're gonna do instead is go to the element information. Um, so if I select my cell, um, what I've done is this dotted border edge line is the element that I actually attached the item type to. So when you place it, it's already there. Um, and I made sure that on every cell, every one of our cells, this dotted border line is the first thing in the list. So if I come over and look at this cell, I see shape with a little expander on it. So I'll, I'll expand that out. And I see items, I expand that out there is that item type. So this item type is attached to this shape element that is within this cell. Why did I do that? I did that because now you have the ability to drop this cell and you will not lose the item type. That was a something we couldn't do with tag sets, right? You dropped the cell, you lost the tags. Now you can drop the cells, which is pretty cool. So to edit them, edit the values, you're just gonna you know, click on the element that has it contained, which is, again, is always this dotted line. It's always the first one in the, the sheet borders or for the cells. If you drop it, then you can just select that dotted line and it'll be in there. Um, change the value, you simply just click in here and you can change them whatever you want. Um, so that's a little different um, workflow. If I select off of it, you'll see that you know I did update. Um, so that's the gist of it. Uh, another thing we did is all of these properties are now opened up to text. Um, before we had like sheet number or sheet total like restricted to integer values only. Is now going to work for text um, for any kind of situation you you guys use. Uh, one more thing with item types that I forgot to mention is um, occasionally things are just going wonky. What you wanna do is um, go to your item types 
um, and just make sure that it's in sync with the library. So right here there's an update from library. So if you see things that are just kind of missing or something, um, just come to your item types in that file and hit this update from library. So mine's grayed out because mine's the same as library, but um, if it's different, then you'll be able to click it um, and that'll basically sync in. So if something happened to the item types, like maybe they got deleted somehow or something, that'll bring them back in. Um, but that is um, the change. Uh, so hopefully you guys like it. There's a lot of cool things we can do with item types. You're going to see that um, you know, in the future with our standards. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood kind of the differences and, and when you got into the standard you weren't um, confused on how to how to work with these item types. Okay, um, so again you do not want to open up the text element and change it here. Um, that's not what you want to do anymore. You want to go to the properties because the text is now attached as a almost like an additional property on that element. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, but uh, until then, see you in the next video.